uh, real quick a demonstration of what three looks like when you finish. Uh, it's called the Mech Wars. And you'll notice they got this really neat background. They're using some 3D, uh, 3D text. And then they're using some shadowing and uh, background, learning to do perspectives with your uh, characters. You're supposed to go get, uh, I'm going to show you the first one, is that you've got to get your own character and uh, some characters there. So the, how do you go get characters? Well, there are a lot of us in the world. but here's the way you do it. You go over to and open the window. Uh, I go Looney Tunes characters JPEG clip art. Here we go. And I start looking around for some of my characters. I'm going to go get Bugs first. I'm going to save his image as, and I'll put him in my Flash Lessons 3 Start folder. He's named OK, so I can just go get him. I was able to right click and save him. Remember, we also learned that you can um, do the Command Shift 4, and I'll do the next one like that. So let's see, we're going to take Barnyard Dog. He's a hoot. All right, I can save him again here, but let's say I can't save him. So what I may do is I hold down the command, the shift, and hit number four. You'll see that I can then make a selection like this, and I release. And now you will find it on the desktop over here. Oops. I go, I go back to... Uh, my start three folder and I drag him into it which is on my memory stick now and I click slowly twice so I can put barnyard dog all right I go back I go back I want one more character well actually there were only two characters in there but I go get beaky buzzard and I just right click and save him Stick him in the Lessons 3 start folder. There. Now, I need to make a background. So what I need to do now is I'm going to go get uh, Eiffel Tower. And see if I can find some one that'll work for me. This one looks pretty cool. I'm going to take that one. I'll open him. I'll see if I can right click and save him. I sure can. So again, I'm going to put him in my lessons. Lesson 3, start. And I need a background now. Um, As always, I just really like going to um, NASA. Universe. Let's go to Universe. Oh, it's going to take a minute to open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Budget cuts, huh? Oh, here's a pretty neat star background.
All right, this one I can't see, so I'm going to have to do the uh, uh, Command Shift 4 and do a cropped screen select. Capture me. And that should take care of that for me. Then I'll find that over here. I'll drag it over. And I'll just put U N I V E R S E universe. Now, back over here, the very first thing I need to do is I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to create a layer one and I'm going to call it background. I'm going to go to my library. Uh oh, guess what? I don't have anything in here. So what I need to do is I can go to um, File, Import, to the library. I'll go to my Flash Lesson 3 Start, and I will grab everything. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the universe out. And I got lucky, and it somewhat looks like it wants to fit. Put it at zero, zero again, remember? And it was 550 by 400, if I'm not mistaken. And my background is done. I lock it. Yes? So just put for now on, just do the pictures, don't even worry about no colors or anything for the background. We'll get there. Oh, okay. Okay, because what's going to happen, let me hide this real quick. Uh, I'm going to hide the background now. You see it's white. I'm going to change the color just to a little different color because what I need to do in the library, let me pull out the um, uh, bugs. Here's bugs. Well, he came out pretty good. Look at that. He doesn't have a background around him, so I'm okay with him there, right? So I'll, I'll shrink him down, and I'm just going to leave him in here for now. I'm going to rename that layer Bugs. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, I'm going to make a new layer, and let's drag out uh, Barnyard Dog. Oh, now he has a background, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is we need to knock off his background some. And the way we did that now was that when I click on him with the selection tool, if you look real carefully, you'll see a dark blue line around him right there. Alrighty. That means he is grouped, so I go to Modify, and I break it apart. Now, I go over to my lasso. I come down and check. I, 30 is going to probably be okay. 10 is going to be a little tight. Since it's all white, I go back, click on my lasso again to make sure I got it. I click on it, and I delete. And he's pretty clean, except for you see there's some little there are some lines here. I'm going to use the free transform tool because it's quick, down and dirty. I can just highlight it and delete it. See? And the dog. Okay, so I name him Barnyard Dog. I saw, look around, Bugs has some white on him, doesn't he? So I do need to break him apart after all. So I go back to that layer. I break him apart. Modify, break apart. I go get my lasso and the magic wand. I click around him again. Delete. The white doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to use the free transform tool around it. I do not want Bugs' finger, so I'll try that again. He looks good now. So I'm going to lock that and I'm going to lock this to start with. And now watch what happens when I put my background back in. 
they will be sitting in space. Now you see why I had the blue background? So that I could see where the white was? Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. Now, the last thing I want to show you on here real quickly is I'm going to put a new layer in. I'm going to drag it to the top. I need to make a background, like in the, uh, in the end one here, not this one, uh, oh, nuts, where did uh, three go? Let me go get three real quick, sorry. Where'd my right click go? And I just opened it. All right, you see this background here? The all the uh, uh, the, the kind of here. Well, that's, they kind of took a flare, they called it, and they messed with it. Now, I'm going to show you how to create one real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out the Eiffel Tower. He's huge, so I need to shrink him down considerably. Right? All right, does he look grouped? Does it look grouped? Absolutely. See the, see the dark blue line around it? This may not be the best color for background. Hang on. Now when I click on it, you can see the dark blue. So I'm going to break that apart real quick. Now because of the shading, I may want to change this. It's so close to the actual color of the Eiffel Tower. I may try to make it 10 so that it's a little more selective. There, I got that all all there. Now, I yeah, know the this is chapter three. Yeah. You had your ears in. I asked you to remove them. You didn't hear me. So now I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit like this. I'm going to copy it. First, I'm gonna, I can go to edit, copy. And then I can go to edit, paste. I'm going to move this one. Shrink it down just a little bit. I can also do a, a paste by doing the command V. Notice that I can modify, I can um, transform and flip it vertically. And I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to paste another one in. I can also just grab it and turn it, can't I? Shrink it a little bit. So there, I've got it. Now I'll go get my free transform again. I'm going to grab the whole thing. I'm going to copy it one more time by using the command C. And then I'm going to command V. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, recenter it. And because I need to go group it now, so I'm just going to convert it to a symbol. So I go to modify, convert to a symbol, because I want to do something to it. Leave it a movie clip. When I come back to properties, you'll notice that I got color effects I can do now. I want to tint it a little bit. How about something like that? I'm going to shift it over a little bit, move it. And now I'm going to take the free transform box and I'm going to regroup it as my final, I'm going to call it star. So now I can move it around and shift it any way I want. Now watch what happens here. I'm going to rename a layer to star. When I open everything so you can see it, it's over top, my guys, right? And I really want it in the background. 
So now I move it right over background, and there it sits. Now, it's not out of focus enough, is it? They will show you how to use a filter. I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to do a little blur on it. I'm going to twist it a little bit, put it up here, and there's an example that you need to do. The rest is, is now notice that in three, that what happens is they bring in an AI, which is an Illustrator document, and they, uh, what they do with the AI is they, uh, 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 that lets you break apart. We can't do that because we're not going to use a, 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 a raster graphic there. So we just bring in a bitmap and then this is the way we have to change around. So uh, you're not going to be able to really go inside any one of these pieces and color it unless you hand color it kind of thing the way they did. But that gives you a little example. Uh, any questions that I'll understand that I just recorded this and this will be up on YouTube for you. So you can review if you need to see this again. Uh, if, oh, the last thing you may want to do is on the Bugs Bunny thing was you were supposed to have a, a darker bugs in the background. I'll copy it. I'm going to modify and convert it to this symbol, call it bugs. Now I mean I, I highlight it and then convert it to a symbol. Now I copy it, pardon me, and I paste it in. And it's on the same layer. So I need to move it behind. I will shrink it first. I need to modify and arrange it and push it to the background. See how bugs came over, the big bugs came over top of it? I want to do one thing to the filter. I want to put a, a glow around it. Maybe I don't try something else. Oh, glow. There's the one. I want to glow. See the red around him? Maybe I'll just make it yellow so it stands out, even though it would be really ugly. I also want to take him and I want to take his brightness down some. So he looks like the guy in the background, right? Take my selection tool, move him up and over a little bit. And that is how it was working. So if you zoom in, you can see it a little better. All right, this whole lecture is on, will be on YouTube shortly.